This is the Rowley Company Drapery Yardage Calculator. You can use this simple tool to figure drapery yardage quickly and easily. I'm going to start by doing a demo of a window, typical size window, using a solid fabric. So let's start with this window size of 49 inches wide by 96 inches long. To figure the yardage, you'll start with the finished length on the outer dial and just spin the tool around till you get to the length of 96. I now can find my cut length by going across the dial to where it says cut length, and that's 112 inches. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. The cut length allows for 16 inches extra to your finished length. That allows for 8 inches in a heading and 8 inches in the hem. If you want to do a larger heading and larger hems, just add the extra length to the finished length before you move the dial around. Now I'm going to go to the panel yardage chart on the left. The top half of the chart is for two and a half times fullness. The bottom half of the chart is for three times fullness. I'll find my window size within the chart and I'm going to plan on two and a half times fullness. The window was 49, so that would be this column where it says 34 to 54 inches. And I can see in the window on the dial that I need 9.2 yards of fabric for this window. If I move up the column to the top, I can see I need three widths of fabric for this window. So that will be three cuts at the cut length of 112. If you have a window that is longer than 116, you flip the calculator over and you can figure drapery panels up to 196 inches long on this side of the dial. Now I'm going to show you how to use the drapery yardage calculator to figure a patterned fabric that has a repeat. So our window this time is 70 inches wide by 90 inches long. So I'm going to spin the dial around to find the finished length of 90 inches. And then I'll go counterclockwise on the dial to find the pattern repeat. The pattern repeats are the small numbers inside of the dial. My pattern repeat is 27 inches, so I'll just keep moving up the dial until I find 27 inches. And that is right here, and this list of numbers is 27. So I'm going to adjust the finish length to that number, which is 92. And then go across the dial and find my cut length of 108 inches. The window is 70 inches wide, so I'm going to go over to the panel yardage chart, find the size of my window, which will be in this column where it says 55 to 76 inches, see that I need 12 yards of fabric, and go up the column to see I need four widths of material. The yardage chart can also help you figure if you have enough fabric, if your fabric comes cut in pieces. By finding your cut length and the number of widths you need, you can find out if the cuts that you already have will work out for your window. Draper Yardage Calculator is simple and easy to use. You can even use it in your client's home to get quick estimates. I hope you'll enjoy using the Rowley Company Draper Yardage Calculator.